Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Killing Lady and I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I created for hashtag PMA Craft Challenge and F for February. For my project today, as you can see, I use a fairy because it does start with the letter F. To create my project, I use Sharon Callis. Flower Fairies Cutting Die and Stamp Set Collection. As you can see, it has lots of beautiful images I'm going to use for today's project, and I'm going to stamp and die cut all the elements. And to stamp all my images, I'm using my stamping platform by Crafters Companion White 300 GSM card, and I'm going to use black waterproof ink because later on I'm going to color in all my images with Zig markers, which are watercolor. Markers. If you haven't heard about PMA Craft Challenge, it is hosted by Monica called Paper Mona on YouTube and Instagram, and I leave the link to all of her social media in the description down below so you can check them out. I absolutely love Monica's idea for the craft challenge because you really have to be creative and every single month is dedicated to a different letter. It is February, so the project is to be with letter F. So that's why I decided to have fairy and flowers. And the hashtag, if you want to take part in it, is hashtag PM for Paper Mona, A for Alphabet, Craft Challenge. Hashtag PMA, Craft Challenge. And all the links are in the description down below so you can check them out. And also what's very cool about this Craft Challenge, you can check all the beautiful projects other crafters created. You literally just put that hashtag both on YouTube and Instagram and you will be amazed how many beautiful creations are with that beautiful challenge and I just can't wait what other crafters will create during this craft challenge because it will last for uh, all the months of this year so I'm pretty sure there will be lots of beautiful projects and yes you can check Monica's YouTube account as well because actually this month she created two videos with letter F, which is absolutely fabulous. And as you can see for my fairy, I decided to use purples and blues because these are my favorite colors. And I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. And whenever you use any zig markers or watercolor markers, and if you have any excess of the color where you don't want it, you can use a tissue to lift off the color. And this is so cool. Even if you don't use watercolor paper. If you want, you can always use watercolor color paper, it will be even easier to move and spread the colors around. And as you can see, to blend all the colors, I'm using wet paintbrush. And I wonder, have you ever used um, zig markers or watercolor markers for, for your projects? If you have, what did you create? Please let me know in the comments down below. Also, you can check my other videos. And recently, I posted free mandala patterns videos because I reached 300 YouTube subscribers. So if you want to check that, the link is in the top right corner and also in the description down below. And I'm using exactly the same colors to color in the butterfly wings because it is going to be a fairy. So yes, we do need some wings for that beautiful fairy. And I really wanted to keep my color palette very simple. But what you can do with any watercolor markers or even pencils is when you use wet paintbrush, you actually create that darker tones and lighter tones, which is absolutely fabulous. And watercolor markers give you so many beautiful effects and first of all they look like watercolors when the whole project is finished and then you can actually create all those beautiful highlights and shadows so that is a big bonus for any watercolor or aqua markers and if you have used any of those please let me know which brand is your favorite because i really want to know and maybe there is something i haven't tried so i can do it for some of my videos later on. And as you can see, coloring all those images is super quick. 
However, whenever you use any watercolor markers or pencils, you always have to leave a gap in between if you don't want to bleed some of the colors together. That's why I actually move from one section leave a gap and then move on to the next one because I don't want all the colors to be mixed together. I really want to have beautiful color variation. And if you want to add another layer, it is a really good tip to wait until all that first layer is completely dry and then you can add more color. That's exactly what I did with the petals underneath. As you can see, I'm adding that blue because all the other colors are completely dry. Now it is time to fussy cut all those images or use cutting dice and that's exactly what I did. When I stamped all those images, some of the parts were missing, the black ink, so I'm using black fine liner. Again, letter F. So yes, now all the elements are ready and we can start assembling them. And to do it, I'm going to use my magic glue one and only liquid glue because it is very strong adhesive and you do have time to maneuver all those elements if you want. And actually with that fairy image and all those petals, as you can see, I've got some stamped images on the back because when I stamped it for the first time, I wasn't really happy with how it turned out. So I literally just turned my card over and I stamped it again. To add a little bit more interest, I decided to use frame layers and flowers cutting dice from Sizzix. So again, we've got letter F here. And for the background, I actually had a look at my uh, scrap draw and I created that background panel long, long time ago and I thought, it will work really well with that fairy. Please let me know what do you think about this color palette? Do you like it? Because for me it is my favorite. I really like cool colors and how they work together but maybe for your fairy you would choose different color palette. Please let me know. Now as you can see I've got six by six inches cut base and it is time to put all those mats and layers together. As usual I've got double sided tape on the back and using liquid glue I make sure that everything is adhered properly. Using my gold mirror card and some cutting dice from Tonic Studio I die cut words have a day. And also, when I had a look at my stash, I found that cutting die sink fabulous. And I thought, yes, it will work really well for this alphabet challenge. And as you can see, I usually do um, dry run first, which means I put all the elements first before assembling everything together. And this is a really good tip for you if you want to make sure that all the elements are evenly spaced on your project. Now when this is ready I also created foam flowers and to do it I actually use beautiful floral bouquet flower for marine foam and this one comes from Craftus Companion and I wanted to use the colors that will actually match the flower fairy and to put all those flowers on my project I'm using 3D gel collal glue. You can also use hot glue if you want. Um, I just didn't want to add any heat to my project today that's why I decided to use those flowers and 3D gel glue. Now I added few leaves and these actually come from Buy Me A Coffee website by Marta and I also left the link to her Buy Me A Coffee website in the description down below. So you can check it out because these leaves actually work really well, especially if you think about the color palette. So I thought, yes, why not? Now when this is ready, it is time to add a few gold gems and our project is complete. Please let me know what do you think about this project? Would you like to give it a go? Or maybe you would actually like to take part in that absolutely stunning craft challenge. As you can see, the hashtag is here. You can see it. You can use it for uh, searching all those beautiful projects. And you can also put it on your project if you want to take part in it. Next month is March, so the letter will be M. I wonder what will you create of it. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up.